Liv filing its S1 just moments ago, and Deirdre Bosa joins us now from San Francisco. As you're going through this, Deirdre, anything standing out to you? Yeah, actually, there was something that really stood out to me, and this is what Lyft says is its market share. This is a big point of contention between the two companies. We know that Lyft has been gaining on Uber, but Uber, of course, the much larger rival. I'm talking about the U.S. Uh, market. And in the S1, Lyft says that its rideshare market was 39% as of December of 2018, up from 22% in December of 2016. So we know very well what Uber has been through over the last few years. A lot of PR disasters. They had Dara Khosr Shahi come. In. But if these numbers are correct, it looks like Lyft has done a lot more to eat away at that Uber market share. Do keep in mind, though, that these figures, I had to check the footnote, they're coming from Rakuten Intelligence. Rakuten is the largest outside shareholder in Lyft. Another thing that stood out to me is this dual class structure. We'd reported on this before, had heard that it was coming, and the S1 confirms that. So this is going to trade like a very different public company than Uber. Uber, we know, has a one share, one class vote. It will have to because of the investment it took from SoftBank. But the founders at Lyft, John Zimmer, Logan Green, they will have um, voting control of this company. And that could mean a lot of things when the company goes public, like whether it's included in indexes and ETFs. Yeah. Also note, uh, nearly billion dollar loss from operations in 2018 on just over two billion. Uh, sorry. Uh, let's see. Yeah, on just over two billion in revenue. So, I mean, the losses here are significant. So when they say I, no guarantee that we're going to make a profit anytime <laughs> soon, that's part of why, right? Yeah, I think that was that was the first risk factor that they identified in depth. But I would also note that that 2018 revenue, 2.2 billion dollars. That's doubling 2017's revenue. So these losses are widening. Um, but remember, these companies aren't going to be bought because they're expected to be profitable anytime soon. I would say, though, that um, Lyft is heading towards profitability, I think, earlier than Uber. Its unit economics um, seem better at this point. But we'll have to continue to dig through them. And remember, this is really the first glance we're getting at Lyft's financials in a long time. But Uber has made a habit of making its, um, its financials public.